Hi, welcome Aries. Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your love forecast for September 2021, especially for VIP members. And we're going to dive straight in. So we're basically going to see what energies come out. And then depending on what connections come out, we'll dive a lot deeper into them. So first up, we're going to pull you an opening energy from the Lovers Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. It's kind of beautiful, very flowy energy. Uh, it's got the uh, yin and yang, yang symbol above them, above this couple, yeah. It's all about balance. It says love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So not getting phased by differences in opinions, working through things together. You don't always have to agree with each other. All right, let's please some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle. Okay, you got the message to pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Don't ignore red flags. It's always a point of discussion because if you ignore them and basically often what happens with a red flag is that you may want to connect with someone because you want a love relationship, right, but you ignore your own needs or red flags in relationships to be in a relationship. What happens with that, right, is it, it'll trip you up later on. So best to bring them up and chat about them, yeah. Oh, wow. Right next to that, you got deception. Someone in this connection is wearing a false mask. Oh, we'll have to dive deeper into that, my loves. <laughs> You've also got the message that your feelings are real and worth exploring. So being open to new connections in your life. Well, you've also got the honeymoon card. So some of you planning a holiday time together, spending some holiday time together. Oh, and you've got past life relationship. You've known each other before. So there's a soulmate connection here. Uh, we're speaking to a number of energies already, at least two energies here. In terms of relationship attachments. Uh, you've also got healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It's directly related to paying attention to red flags. So that tells me there's some karmic things playing out in connections where those of you are experiencing challenges in a relationship, whether it be new love, whether it be you know, a partnership you've been in for a while. And you got the message to recapture romance, just be playful, fun, flirty, not too serious. And you got the message that you deserve love, you are lovable, directly related to those of you where you're exploring new connections. Um, it's very much speaks to new love or those of you single, yeah. Wow. Okay. Under honeymoon, you got wedding. So situation involves marriage. Some of you, um, it's come out. I'll bring, I'll say this first before I even show you. Got engagement here as well. So those of you in committed partnerships, either you're already engaged or there's a proposal coming in. Uh, there's a wedding to be planned. There's a honeymoon to be planned and your soulmates because it's a past life connection. So what we've got here is a committed partnership. We've got those of you single opening up to new love, meet somebody new. And there's a connection here that has got some red flags going on. So it could certainly be new love. Mm -hmm. We'll pull some more guidance. The angel answers oracle. What is it Aries needs to know here? Oh, okay. You got the message to let go directly related to those of you where there is a connection that's possibly not serving you. A lot of red flags going off. Always up to you. And you've got a timeline a year from now. So there's a beautiful committed partnership. So those of you where you're in a connection where it's not really working for you, it could be brand new. Uh, the energy of this person doesn't feel really great, I've got to say. Spirit's saying you will have this beautiful, loving connection. Commit a partnership a year from now. Doesn't mean it's going to take that long. Um, you've also got the message to take action. So those of you where somebody's caught your eye, um, you want to meet somebody new, Spirit's saying you're to put yourself out there. Oh, 
Oh, you've also got to communicate clearly. Directly related to those of you in a committed partnership. Um, planning your wedding, traveling. <laughs> I mean, those really open, honest discussions about what you both want. Oh, and there's going to be big happy changes, Spirit saying. So if you're waiting for a proposal coming in, Spirit saying it's going. Yeah. Those of, with you, those of you with your soulmate, hello. All right, we've got, I'm going to say to you, we've certainly got, I would suggest new love here, which is a partnership where there's not some great energy. We've got singles and we've certainly got a committed partnership here. So first up, let's have a look at new love. Oh, there's a magnetic attraction going on. My fire burns for you. So there's chemistry here. And it feels easy and flows naturally. So I wonder why there's red flags going off. Any other guidance there? Smitten, I can't wait to see you again. Oh, hello. This is super interesting, my loves. Hmm, so total contrast to red flags coming out. All right, singles. I don't know about you, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, you're going through a massive transformation right now, paradigm shift, so a lot of personal growth. And Spirit saying it's time for a beauty makeover, time to refresh your look. Oh, that's nice guidance. All right, couples, where there's a beautiful proposal coming in or you've just gotten engaged. Oh, I wish we could go back to the how we used to be. So there may be something that just needs a little tweaking in this connection in terms of playfulness and fun. Yeah. Oh, and you are my one true soulmate. Beautiful love connection there. All right, let's just get to the heart of the matter. I'm just going to pull some guidance for singles here where there's a bit of a contrasting energy. Okay, so there's codependency issues that make me complicated to get to know. So that's karmic. So there's a beautiful connection here, but Spirit's saying just be mindful of the red flag. So this is either you that needs to clean your stuff up or the other person. And got way too excited and didn't time, take the time to find out your intentions. So whilst there's a beautiful connection here, you need to figure out if, it's, if they're just looking for intimacy or are they looking for the same thing that you're looking for, particularly if you're looking for a serious relationship, yeah? Oh, here we go. Ignore red flags to be, and my own needs to be in a relationship. So it's come out twice. That's a message from Spirit directly to you, Aries. Um, don't ignore red flags. So you need to, what's channeling through is more information needs to be found out about this person that you're connecting with and whether or not you're really wanting the same things. All right, let's pull some guidance around relationship influences, firstly for this new love connection here. Uh, someone in this connection needs to heal the masculine. So what does that mean? So if it's a karmic imprint, it can mean that there's too much control being applied to situations, whether that's by you or the other person. It can mean one person needs to step more into their personal empowerment, put healthy boundaries in place with people. Um, it can mean that if you've had difficult love relationships, if I'm talking to the feminine energy here with men, there may be an aspect of feeling like um, all relationships are going to end up the same or a person's going to be the same as what you've previously had. So you project things onto connections that are based in stuff from the past, yeah, which needs healing. That can go both ways, yeah. Oh, one, someone's in recovery here. So it could be health recovery. All right, singles. Oh, you've got red flags as well. So big message from Spirit Aries. Don't ignore red flags. It's come out three times now. Um, oh, karmic imprints playing out. So the karmic imprints are playing out on your side, Aries. Um, in terms of ignoring red flags in relationships and the ability to put healthy boundaries in place with people, the ability to take your time to get to know someone before you jump in, find out what they truly want. Watch that. All right, couples. 
Oh, there's a bit of distance between you. So I'm not sure if there's some physical distance you've got to travel towards each other. Kind of interesting. And children are a focus at this time. So there might need to be some discussions, particularly if you've just gotten engaged as to whether you want children, don't want children. All right, let's pull some guidance around love attributes. So this is your love language, the other person's love language, what's important to either of you. First up, this new connection. Okay, so money is a focus right now. So that could be you, that could be them. And either you or they are a bit of an explorer, so quite adventurous, yeah. Singles. It's all about you. Oh, you love generosity of spirit. You may be very generous. You may want your partner to be generous. Oh, and you're a bit pessimistic at this time, so you might need to just work on your vibration. Couples. Oh, one of you is a free spirit, so somebody needs this space. And financial stability is really important, either to you or your partner in this connection. All right, let's put you some guidance in terms of soulmate messages. Firstly, for those of you in this new love connection, needs a little bit of work. Oh, it says a profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. You have much to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and your love life. So very much appreciating yourself Find a lot of self-love at this time, knowing you're worthy of a beautiful love relationship. Don't need to prove anything to anyone. Singles. Oh, you, my beloved, are like a ray of golden sunshine. I breathe in your love and all my concerns melt away. And all that is left is pure joy. Thank you, my beloved soulmate. Oh, darlings, you've got a soulmate coming in. All right, couples. Oh, it says, it's normal to miss someone who is dear to you, but remember, love knows no separation. You may be physically apart, but spiritually you're always united. Those you love are forever present in your heart. So it's, there's a distance card here. So one of you may be away from the other at this time in terms of life circumstances, yeah? All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, Whispers of Love Oracle. Firstly... For those of you in this new love connection over here, where well, you just got to pay attention to red flags. Oh, you've got the message that you're limitless. You can do anything you choose. So don't limit yourself to any aspect of your life, even when it comes to love. Yeah, choices in love. This is for singles. Oh, here we go. you got relationship patterns playing out. So you've also got karmic imprints and spirit saying it takes strength to recognize the need for change. So you need to look at self and explore what relationship patterns are playing out in your life that are self-sabotaging your connections, yeah? Mm-hmm. I doubt be karmic. Could be around your sense of self-love, self-worth, certainly around putting healthy boundaries in place with people. All right, let's have a look at couples here. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the message to love who you are. It says you are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So I'm going to say to you, Aries, right through this entire reading, no matter what, love connection you're in there's a strong message that you need to build up your sense of self-love self-worth at this time and know you're worthy of a beautiful love yeah mm -hmm. all right my darlings those are your messages love to your feedback your comments down below hit the like button absolutely helps my channel uh, there is a special offer this month you can get 15 dollars off my personal readings i'll put a coupon code up here and also a link to the booking page so you can learn more about them so if you feel like you need extra guidance and support reach out uh, it's pretty much first in, first serve. So I do have some availability next week if you want to get a personal reading with me. They're deeply transformational, my loves. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, darlings. Love from me to you. Namaste.